Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ellie Mayda here uh, doing my third video. So um, I've had good reactions from the video. You guys seem to like them. Um, answering a few questions here and there kind of seems to help you guys get to know a little bit more about me um, other than just pictures, right? So yeah, I like doing these videos. I have to make this one a little bit shorter. I made the other one about 20 minutes long. Um, the same one that I'm trying to do right now. So. Uh, it just seemed like a little bit too long, so I'm going to try and shorten it up and um, answer your questions. Just leave out the ums and hums, because I don't actually edit my videos. Uh, I just go from the start, so, you know, if I make a mistake speaking, that's because I'm not editing it out. Um, all right, first off, I just wanted to say uh, my heart goes out to all the people that were affected by the Oklahoma tornado. Um, I couldn't imagine dealing with that and uh, being affected by it is you know, a terrible thing to go through. So my heart goes out to you and uh, I hope you have the love of everyone around you and your family and friends um, to help you get through this difficult time. So I'm thinking about you, okay? Um, I want to mention uh, I have a contest going on right now. Uh, it's for uh, any sort of artwork that you guys have of me that you want to do, drawings, cartoons. I especially like cartoons. Uh, that you want to send into my email at elliemayday24 at gmail.com. Um, you will be entered in to win a signed print. So I'm giving away three prints. So top three people. So your chances are pretty good. Uh, so send those in when you get a chance. I will be announcing the winner on the 31st of May. Yeah. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit. I sent out a status saying... Um, you guys had any last minute questions for me that you guys wanted to know in this video um, I'd be willing to answer them so um, the dark wig that I've been doing in the shoots um, it's a wig so I didn't obviously didn't dye my hair uh, I hope you guys liked it it's kind of nice to change things up a little bit give myself a different look I prefer the blonde I'm I think I will always be blonde in my life so um, it's just something that I'm used to and I think it suits me, and I have way, way too much fun being a blonde, so I'll stay blonde, don't worry guys. Um, someone asked me about my diet and exercise routine. In my second video, I'll go through it a little bit more in depth. Um, currently, I am not feeling too well. I'm going in for surgery in about three weeks. Um, nothing to be too concerned about, hopefully, but um, something's in my stomach that needs to come out, so. <laughs> It's not a baby, don't worry. Um, it's, uh, but it's been growing and um, giving me a lot of difficulty. So uh, I'm going to be dealing with it in the next little while. So unfortunately, you won't be seeing too many photos coming from my page. But hopefully, I have enough on reserve that uh, you guys can enjoy. Um, so yeah, like I said, the diet and exercise. I'm not really working out. I'm just trying to eat healthy right now. Um, uh, but usually I'll be doing about an hour and a half of cardio altogether with weights in between. So however you choose you want to do cardio. Uh, I really like swimming as well. I haven't went swimming in a while, but I used to be a swimming instructor and lifeguard. So um, that was a really great way to kind of work the entire body. Uh, yeah. I got asked what my kind of man is. Um, I like big guys. Not necessarily they have to be super tall, but I like a, a bigger guy. I like a guy that's confident. Um, I like a guy that is determined and um, knows what he wants in life kind of thing. And a funny guy. I like the, uh, the goofiness because I'm pretty goofy. It doesn't really come through in my photos, I don't think. Maybe a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm a goofy person. Um, I had someone ask me about my style, uh, taking my style to a new level and if I think that people would copy it and such. Uh, day to day, I dress pretty normal, I would say. Jeans and like a t-shirt, you know? I'm going out to run errands right after this video, so I don't really, I wouldn't say I get too glamorous every day. Um, most of the days I don't wear any makeup at all. So I bet you, you probably wouldn't even recognize me if you saw me in the store. Um, but yeah, I think if, like if I got more famous, I would um, like bring my style out a little bit more and hopefully people would take notice. I know a lot more people that have way cooler style than me, but um, to each their own, right? Uh, yeah. 
would I ever be, um, would I ever consider getting involved in Comic-Con? Uh, I would totally get involved with Comic-Con. I love dressing up, obviously. I'm in the right, um, the field for it. But yeah, Comic-Con would be cool. We don't really have that up in Canada. Um, so if you guys know how to get involved in that kind of stuff and I'm down in the States, uh, I would totally be willing to do that one day. Um, do I like country music? Of course I like country music. Every good farm girl likes country music. And I think most girls like country music just because it's um, like a really romantic and boy meets girl type music. So um, I grew up on country music, so I know a lot of it. And uh, yeah, I kind of, I'll listen to it from time to time, but I like every single type of music for the most part. Um, yeah. My favorite lingerie. Favorite lingerie. Um, Forever Yours Lingerie, I do a lot of modeling for them, but I really like their stuff. Uh, they're going to be selling online pretty soon, so you guys can check out their website, um, go through Facebook and look at what you like. I mean, a lot of the photos that you see, if you like that on me, you might like it on yourself. So if you're interested in purchasing, purchasing it, um, you will be able to shortly. Uh, yeah, they've got lots of nice colors, like really pretty stuff for, I know it's really hard to find um, nice lingerie in bigger sizes, so this is definitely a good shop for you if that's what you're looking for. Um, favorite makeup? I, I wear every, like, different types of makeup all the time. Um, I mean, I like MAC lipstick. Uh, I'm not wearing it today, but that is... Um, that's a big one for me. I really like MAC. The color stays on really good. Uh, for foundation and color, I like Clinique um, for, for my face. Um, I kind of buy all different sorts of it and try it out. And, you know, if it doesn't, it's not my thing, it goes into the pile of makeup that we all have that we don't use. Every girl has that pile of makeup that, oh, maybe, maybe I'll feel like wearing electric blue sometime. But, you know, it never really gets used. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like it when makeup artists do my makeup because I don't feel like I'm that amazing at my makeup. Um, I prefer not to wear makeup, actually, day to day. It's just kind of my thing because, well, I don't know. It's just so much hassle to put it on and then take it off and everything. Um, I guess maybe I'll wear more makeup when I have someone to wear makeup for. <laughs> um, hmm. What else do I have here for questions? Well, when was my aha moment? Uh, and by aha moment, I think you mean like, when did you realize you're, you know, you're doing something that you may possibly be really good at. Um, I was at a photo shoot a couple of months ago and I received over like a thousand likes in one day. It was crazy. This was my old fan page. It got deleted, long story short. I don't have it anymore. I had to restart a new one a few months ago, and um, I got over a thousand likes in one day, and that was that just like blew my mind. And I thought, well, um, I guess someone likes me, you know. So that was definitely a big moment for um, for realizing that I'm doing the right thing, and and then it definitely um, helps when I get a bunch of messages from different women saying the confidence level that um, has went up because of me or because of seeing what I do and uh, who I am, like, I'm not a small chick, but obviously I um, have people that like my look and, uh, you know, just see the beauty beyond um, being a size two or tight, you know. So um, that's been really great and I really appreciate all the people that support me. Yeah, um, I had someone ask me about my views on gay marriage and would I ever date a woman, why or why not? I have absolutely nothing wrong with gay marriage. I fully support it. I think that um, times are changing and people need to realize that and just accept, accept um, people aren't doing anything harmful by wanting to be in a marriage, the bond of marriage like um, with the same sex. What does that matter? It's love, it's, um, it's something good and I think that we should allow it everywhere. It's really it's really ridiculous that it's not, I don't know, it's not accepted by everyone, it's not seen as an acceptable thing. But I think it'll change. Um, 
people will come to their senses. Uh, would I ever date a woman? Unfortunately, no. Uh, I've had the I had that question asked to me a few times. Uh, I like guys, so that's the only reason why I guess I wouldn't be dating a woman. It's because I like men. Hmm, manly men. <laughs> um, so I was approached by a a uh, friend that I actually worked with a few years ago uh, when I was the server and um, she's become a filmmaker now and she wants to do a documentary uh, whether we take the route of doing a pinup um, inspired documentary or plus size modeling documentary. Uh, I'm kind of curious what you guys think if you want to see a little bit more into the plus size world what I'm getting into. Um, I started out as a pinup model that's that was my niche and that's kind of what um, struck a chord with my main fans um, when I began this whole thing. So do you guys want to see more of that? Let me know. If you send me a message, send me a comment on the video. Um, I want to know what you guys think and um, yeah, just I think the plus size world is going to get huge and I really want to be a part of it and um, I think we would do really well with the documentary based around this subject. But yeah, let me know. Send me a message. Um, I would just want to give out to a uh, shout out to my friend uh, Jen Kaboom Designs. Her name is Jen Kaboom. She's also a pinup model. Um, I have all of her flowers. So in most all the photos that you see of me with flowers in my hair, they're by her. So if you guys want to order some, they're really really pretty and great for summer. If you're going like on vacation or poolside, they make your hair look perfect. You can throw it up in like a sloppy bun and then tuck one of those flowers in and uh, yeah I really like them so I was just looking at them I had them all like hanging up my wall um, yeah if you guys need the link it's just Jen Kaboom Designs you can find her on Facebook and you can order them so yeah take a look at that if you guys like um, plans for my upcoming shoots um, as soon as I recover from surgery should be about uh, mid-July I will be doing some shoots, hopefully at some um, different car shows, and um, getting out there because I, I, yeah, I want to do like a few bike shoots and some hot rods. I think that'd be really fun. Um, yeah, my preferred type of shoots. I prefer shooting lingerie. I really like it. I think lingerie does exactly what it's meant to do, and you're supposed to feel sexy in it. And that's uh, kind of the, at like. That's when I feel the sexiest is wearing when I'm shooting lingerie because, you know, it is. Yeah, it's for your partner, but it's also for, um, for you to feel good, right? So it's made to make you feel good, um, and it does the trick. I like lingerie, and I love all the stuff I wear. For photo shoots, yeah. Um, I just realized that I won the rockabilly pit contest, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for voting. I'm going to be announcing the winner of um, of the share and like contest. Um, so I've got quite a few contests going on. If you guys want to get involved, it's pretty easy. Um, I'll be announcing the winner tonight for the uh, Rockabilly Share contest. So you guys helped me win. It was awesome. And I'll be shared on their page for the next month. So yeah, check out that as well. They've got a lot of good looking women on there and um, it's a pretty fun little page. So rockabilly pit um yeah i don't really know what else to say guys uh if you want to send me a message i always like reading them i usually always respond unless that's something i don't want to respond to <laughs> um don't ask me what airline i work for it's not really something that matters um it's a smaller airline so uh you probably have never heard of it anyways being that you guys are mostly from the states so um yeah, a few details like that, yeah, I'm probably not going to, you know, let you know everything, but I'm sure you'll find out one day. Um, maybe when there's like a book written about me or something, who knows. <laughs> uh, there's lots of big things coming up for me, though. I'm really excited about it. I can't quite talk about everything that's um, in the uh, horizon, but I'm really excited for it. So I just want to um, get back to being myself and get this surgery over with. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the things that are coming, and I'm so happy that <laughs> I tried doing my 12,000 like video, and within two days, I already got up to 13,000, so 
it's pretty insane how this is blowing up and I love every second of it. So keep on commenting, liking, sharing. Um, I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. And if you have anything that you want to let me know, feel free to message me. That's why I have a message button on my Facebook page. Um, it's kind of consuming my time right now, but uh, I'm not really doing too much with being on uh, being on leave for this um, medical thing. So yeah, let me know. Uh, it was great. Thank you guys so much. And um, I will hopefully do a video pretty soon if you guys have more questions. So have a wonderful week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.